Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And last but not least, we have AT&T. So we talked about T-Mobile. They made a big accomplishment getting the second highest tally awards in the metro areas. Verizon, they won root metrics overall, both in metro and state. And now AT&T. Again, I'm just presenting to you guys what the findings of root metrics are. This is not my testing and this is not something that I'm just making up. I'm just letting you guys know what root metrics found in their testing during the first half of 2024. AT&T in the metro areas is now in third place on the overall awards given. First Verizon at 838. T-Mobile second now at 585 and AT&T third at 397. As I said in the previous video, AT&T has a lot of work to do. Also, AT&T fell to second place in the state testing. Verizon took first and T-Mobile came in third. Again, so in the state testing, AT&T still ranks second, right? If you look at the overall tally awards, it's Verizon, AT&T, then T-Mobile. Again, I'm just telling you guys and presenting you guys what root metrics found in their testing. So again, I got no race in this. I'm just telling you Verizon came in first at the metros and they came in first in state. So overall, they got the first place. Overall, AT&T got second and T-Mobile got third. But looking at the individual Metro Area Tally Awards, T-Mobile surpassed AT&T. You know, deal with it. They surpassed them. T-Mobile never ever was able to even get able to even get close of surpassing AT&T or Verizon just five, six years ago. Now, today, that's a different story. T-Mobile has more capital to invest. They have more spectrum deployed. They had a head start two years. All that good stuff, right? That's just me being honest, realistic, and objective. AT&T could come back and take this from T-Mobile. They could change their core strategy, and they could start shifting more dollars to, to uh, wireless. Do I see that happening? Am I hearing that that's going to happen? No, I'm not hearing that today. So until... AT&T changes their core strategy, this, this is likely not changing. And if this continues year after year, T-Mobile could give AT&T a run for their money at the state level too. Keep that in mind. That's going to happen eventually. T-Mobile is going to deploy, deploy more and more and more sites. They're going to close the coverage gap more and more. Right? They're, they're trying to get this U.S. cellular thing worked out. I still think that's going to go through. Were we going to have objections? Of course. That's what, what I reported this morning. Se Senate, senators from certain states, Democratic senators, are, are opposed to the deal. That was always going to be the case. So I don't see that derailing the deal. You know, I see that, you know, T-Mobile might have to step in and, and work out some additional concessions when it comes down to it. But also uh, another thing to keep in mind, too, how much... Is T-Mobile re uh, ready to defend and 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 push for this deal? Right? How bad do they want it? That's another thing, right? They wanted the Sprint deal really bad, so they went through all the court hearings. They they said yes to all the concessions. We'll see how bad they want this U.S. cellular deal, but at the end of it, I still think it will go through, and it'll give T-Mobile twenty one hundred new sites that they can add their equipment on. Uh, integrate whatever they need to do, they can do it. And that will make their network and coverage more comprehensive and competitive with the competition. So again, AT&T, a lot of work to do. AT&T has a lot of work to do. Um, I'm going to make a, a, a video for the members shortly. There's there's some interesting stuff that I learned about AT&T over the last 24 hours. So I'll be sharing that with the members. For, for those of you who'd like to join, a link to that will be in the description under more. And then scroll to the bottom. There's a link to that uh to that membership so let me know your thoughts in the comments i'm not saying this is the end all be all for for at&t they still have 
right? They still have a very comprehensive wireless network. Wireless section is still their bread and butter today, even though they're investing more in fiber, but they're looking to scale and branch off into something else. And that something else is clearly fiber. So let me know your thoughts on this. Again, Verizon first at 838 in, in the uh, metro areas, T-Mobile second, 585, AT&T in third at 397. Overall, Verizon first at both the metros and the state level, AT&T second overall, but they finished third at the metro level. They finished second at the state level and T-Mobile came in second at the metro level, but they couldn't uh, get enough wins at the state level. So they came in third place overall. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.